We have here with us Michael Brito, mm -hmm. uh, VP of Social mm -hmm. Media at Edelman. Mm -hmm. Michael, you talked a lot about um, the importance of responding to people online and really listening, but also engaging. A lot of people have a lot of doubts about how to react to negative comments and whether or not to respond. Do you have best practices for that? I would just say that whenever there's a negative comment or some type of engagement that could be negative, the great thing about social media is it can allow you to turn the, be turn the whole behavior around. So by simply engaging and, and, and show the consumer that you're listening, and that you're willing to have a conversation, that usually has a tendency of, of turning the customer around. Now, he or she may not turn out to be an advocate, but they'll probably slow down in a lot of their kind of the neg negativity that they're sharing online. Is there something that brands definitely should not do with, res with regards to negative, uh, negative comments? Never delete comments. Mm -hmm. And uh, a few companies have, have done that in the past, and I would recommend against it. Rather, um, if, it's, if you're moderating content, if you're post-moderating content and it's unacceptable or it's it's you know damaging to somebody's ethnicity or it's kind of rude, um, you can delete. You can you can inform the readers that hey, this is not acceptable. If you word it this way, then we'll we'll allow it. Uh, Pre-moderated content is is pretty much a given. Um, as long as it's uh, you know if it's fair, if it's well written, I would approve it. At Intel, we followed a good, bad, and ugly model where we accepted the good, we accepted the bad, but we didn't accept the ugly. Awesome. Um, one final question. What deodorant do you use? <laughs> I do use Old Spice, but I've been using Old Spice for years. Oh, a brand advocate. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>